Hey folks, let's talk about simplifying radical expressions using rational exponents. Why would we want to do such a thing? You might question that deeply as you go through this entire class, but let's talk about this. Notice in the numerator you have a fourth root because it says the fourth root would be the third, but in the denominator you have a seventh root. Anytime you're multiplying or dividing, and you're dealing with, your problem has two different roots going on, then you want to use rational exponents to simplify this mess, okay? So I can't write this as one big giant radical because one's a fourth root and one's a seventh root. And we might even be able to simplify some of this B business inside if we had common roots here, but we don't. So the idea is you rewrite this as a fractional exponent. So I've got b to the 3 fourths is what that's going to be, right? That's how you change a radical notation to fractional exponents. Again, the root is your denominator, the exponent is your numerator. Now that's going to be divided by, in the denominator, that's going to be b to the, now we know the denominator is 7, what's in the numerator? Well that's a 1 right? Because there is no exponent, so that's an implied one. Now, here's the deal. You would subtract these two guys, right? Three-fourths and one-seventh. Well, I don't have a common denominator. I can't subtract them the way they are, so that's your next step. Find a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this numerator up here. By the way, what's the common denominator for four and seven? 28, right? So that means I need to multiply by 7 in the denominator here. To fix that issue, I multiply by 7 in the numerator. The denominator, very similar. I need to turn that into a 28, so I'm going to multiply by 4 over 4. I'm just going to scoot across the page here. That's going to be b to the 21 28 divided by b to the 4 28. Aha! Now, I have a common denominator, okay? So what do I do next? Well, check this out. I can go ahead and subtract those exponents. So I've got b, where's my b, there you are, b to the 21 minus 4 is 17 28, right? That's what you do when you divide bases, you subtract the exponents. That's the whole reason we found a common denominator. Okay, now it's just to write this as a single radical expression. How about this? That's going to be the 28th root of b to the 17th power. Now the next issue is you've got to type that in the system. But there you go. So um, that's dealing with rational exponents to write a single radical expression.